How has saving the ozone layer prevented millions of cases of cataracts? Banning the use of CFCs through the Montreal Protocol signed in 1987 was by far the most successful environmental campaign the world has ever put together. Today, we'll be discussing why this campaign was launched and how it succeeded so quickly. Let us take you back 50 years. In the 1970s, chlorofluorocarbons, otherwise known as CFCs, were everywhere. Praised as miracle chemicals, they were used as coolants in refrigerators, aerosol cans and air conditioners the world over. They played a role in wide-ranging businesses and industrial processes, accounting for many jobs and vast amounts of money. However, scientists had started to notice negative effects in the upper atmosphere. It was realised that CFCs had a long lifespan, travelling through the stratosphere for years after being emitted. When they reached the ozone layer, they would release chlorine and bromine molecules which reacted destructively. After years of damage, a large hole had formed, and this was a huge problem. The ozone layer is a very thin but vitally important layer of our atmosphere, which protects people and animals on Earth by absorbing many of the harmful UV rays coming from the sun. Without a strong ozone layer, cases of cataracts and skin cancer would skyrocket. In 1987, the Montreal Protocol was signed, uniting multiple international communities in efforts to phase out CFCs to protect us from the harmful effects of greater UV exposure. This has been an overwhelming success and after many years of depletion, the ozone hole is finally shrinking. Scientists project that it will return to a natural size in the next 40 to 50 years. A study by the American Chemical Society in 2021 has revealed that over 60 million cases of cataracts and over 200 million cases of skin cancer will be prevented over the next 100 years by successfully protecting the ozone layer. A staggering achievement only possible through total international collaboration. As stated by UNEP, the Montreal Protocol is the only United Nations environmental agreement to be ratified by every country. Sadly, environmental policy today is more divisive than ever. The COP26 UN Climate Change Conference is the next opportunity for international communities to address the environmental and ecological concerns of scientists, politicians, businesses and the general public alike. The Montreal Protocol has benefited humans of all nationalities and is a testament to the fact that we are capable of international change, which makes a noticeable difference and protects the environment for future generations. Remember that beneficial societal changes are possible and stay optimistic that we can still unite our efforts to affect positive changes.